The virus that causes rabies is believed to have arrived in Bali in 2008 from the nearby island of Sulawesi, where the disease is widespread. Locals say the virus came first to a village in Nusa Dua Peninsula with an infected dog that was traveling with fishermen. One day in November 2008, two officials visited Ungasan village upon hearing that a man there had died with rabies-like symptoms after being bitten by a dog. One was Dr. Gede Asrama, the district animal health officer of Badun. With him was his colleague and friend, Dr. Suwi Adnanya, Badun public health officer. They suspected an epidemic was starting and knew instinctively that unless human health and animal health officials worked hand in hand, rabies control would be impossible. The rabies virus threatened not only the people of Bali, but also their beloved dogs. This is the story of how Bali is controlling rabies on this peaceful island paradise. Rabies is a lethal viral disease transmitted by bites from infected animals, most commonly dogs. Clinical signs can appear rapidly if the bite is near the head or neck, though in other cases it may take several months. Once rabies symptoms appear, death is unavoidable and victims generally die within 10 days. Rabies spread rapidly among Bali's 350,000 or so dogs, reaching all nine districts by mid-2010 and taking a growing toll in human deaths from rabies. At the peak of the epidemic, up to 11 humans were dying each month of rabies. Yet, by December 2011, the government of Bali had somehow turned the tide on the spread of dog cases and brought monthly human deaths from rabies down to one or none. How did they do it? Kerjasama antara sektor kes, dinas kesehatan dengan dinas peternakan yang ada di Bali ini kita bangun e, cukup bagus dalam rangka untuk pengendalian rabies. Tanpa kerjasama yang bagus, maka pengendalian rabies di lapangan itu sulit sekali dilaksanakan. Oleh sebab itu kita sudah melakukan e, apa namanya pelatihan bersama antara petugas kesehatan dengan petugas peternakan, khususnya bagaimana melakukan e, penanganan terhadap kasus e, gigitan. Nah ini kita lakukan. Ya, eh, pendekatan One Health ini merupakan pendekatan yang mengedepankan kerjasama lintas sektor anta, untuk memecahkan permasalahan. Oleh karena itu, di dalam penanganan rabies ini, melalui pendekatan One Health ini, pendekatannya menjadi bersama-sama, terkoordinasi, tidak hanya menyelesaikan masalah kesehatan hewan saja, atau masalah kesehatan manusia, tetapi diselesaikan secara bersama-sama untuk mengatasi rabies ini. Dan itulah yang kami coba lakukan di Pulau Bali dan berhasil. At the core of Bali's success in controlling rabies is its campaign to vaccinate the dogs on the island. Vaccination focused on roaming dogs, both owned and unowned, since they have the greatest chance of meeting rabid dogs. An important part of rabies prevention is the engagement of the community through communication. Mobile vans, public meetings, and door-to-door -door visits are used to raise the community's awareness of the threat of rabies and the need to vaccinate dogs. Nearly 240,000 dogs had been successfully vaccinated by the time the second round ended in September 2011, covering all 4,373 sub-villages on the island. Canine rabies came down by 77% and human cases fell to just one case per month, or even none, compared to 2010. With continuing mass dog vaccination, human cases of rabies had fallen by 90% by the end of 2012. In the early days of rabies here, many people did not survive because they did not seek medical care after being bitten. 
With the Integrated Byte Case Management Protocol, or IBCM, Bali's rapid response system for handling byte cases, human health doctors began working hand in hand with veterinarians, playing a key role in Bali's success against rabies. Rabies can be prevented even after a bite from an infected animal if post-exposure treatment with a course of vaccine against rabies is started immediately. Dalam IBCM ini uh, kita coba buatkan sebuah uh, standar di mana ketika ada kasus gigitan pada manusia tentu saja nanti manusianya atau masyarakat yang digigit anjing rabi, diduga rabies tersebut akan dibawa kepada pihak kesehatan di mana mereka sudah punya standar sendiri bagaimana melakukan tindakan terhadap korban kasus gigitan tersebut mulai dari dicuci lukanya dengan air yang mengalir dengan sabun petugas kesehatan kemudian akan mengontak petugas kesehatan hewan di lapangan di wilayah yang sama untuk kemudian, untuk kemudian melakukan tindakan. Nothing illustrates the One Health approach as well as the cooperation between human health and animal health officials in a bite case. Two-year-old Komang Sentana in Bangli village was playing with his sister in his yard. Unknown to him, a dog infected with the rabies virus had entered the compound. Little Komang was bitten above his right eye. Komang's aunt washed his wound with running water and soap at once. Komang was checked at the hospital and received an immediate injection of vaccine against rabies. Following the IBCM protocol, the nurse on duty, Putu Asila, called Bangli's rapid response officer, Dr. Dewa Ayu Nyoman. By the time Dr. Nyoman and the sub-district surveillance officer reached Bangli the next day, angry villagers had killed the dog. The head was recovered and sent to the laboratory for the rabies test. The test was positive. Komang undertook a full course of post-exposure treatment and is now completely out of danger. Sebelum adanya program ABCM, rata-rata Investigasi kita uh, berkisar antara angka 20 sampai 25 uh, investigasi per bulannya. Setelah adanya program IBCM, dalam satu bulan investigasi dapat kita uh, lakukan sampai 340 lebih dalam satu bulan. Jadi ini... Satu hal lagi, ada suatu tujuan besar dari pemerintah Indonesia, kita ingin membebaskan Indonesia dari rabies. Komitmen ini terjadi setelah adanya rabies di Bali. Bahkan di Pem Bali, Gubernur Bali mau lebih cepat lagi. Bali harus kembali bebas rabies tahun 2013. Jadi ini suatu pekerjaan besar menanti di depan. Rabies adalah suatu penyakit yang bisa dieliminasi. Di perkecil masalahnya sampai tidak menjadi masalah kesehatan masyarakat. Bali's gift to Indonesia is a science-based and effective strategy for fighting rabies, founded on the twin principles of One Health and the large-scale vaccination of dogs to control and eliminate the virus and thus prevent human deaths. Though its campaign against rabies is far from over, Bali has already shown that rabies can be controlled and that with a clear strategy and a firm will, the government of Indonesia can eliminate the disease.